What's up YouTube? This is Bade here back again with my Phoenix Wright Let's Play. And last time, uh we had some shenanigans with the blue badger, but uh we proved a possibility. A really interesting possibility what uh, could have actually happened during the day of the murder with Joe Dark and Emma Sky and Neil Marshall. So uh let's go. I I don't know if I can go through with this. Mr. Wright, what is the matter? If events took place as uh, defense theorizes, then the outcome is obvious in that moment. Assuming the man Emma Sky knocked away was actually Prosecutor Neil Marshall, <gasps> Does she realize it? You mean Mr. Marshall died because of me? No! Uh. Holy crap! I never imagined her testimony would lead to this. So it was the witness who took the victim's life, and then proved, and then proved so with her own testimony. Whoa! This is unprecedented. Oh dear! What? What are you saying? I'm sorry, Miss Sky, but given the circumstances, Joe Dark murdered uh, Prosecutor Marshall. How can you think it was Emma? How dare you pin it on, pin the crime on her? Well, it was accidental murder, but still. Imagine that coming from you. <gasps> if you recall, uh, it was you who admitted to forging evidence two years ago. The reason you moved Prosecutor Marshall's body, yes, it all makes sense now, was to keep any anyone else from finding out what about what Emma did, wasn't it? I assure you, Mr. Edward, I had no idea what you're talking about. If you hope, if you hope to have uh, anyone believe your insane allegations, I'm afraid you're going to have to have proof. Tell me. Do you have any conclusive ed evidence that proves my sister uh, killed Neil Marshall? Evidence? We just proved it pretty much. What else do you want? I'm willing to bet you don't. Yes, it certainly would be difficult to prove uh, this with the evidence. If we don't have evidence, then we have to rely on testimony. I'm afraid that won't work in this case. Both parties involved in this incident are dead. <gasps> we certainly can't get dead people to testify. This has all been a wild goose chase from the beginning. Ho ho ho! Edgeward has a plan. Hmm, touche, Miss Guy. Of course, that would uh, that only leaves us with one 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 possibility. <gasps> You mean there's still another possibility? What do you mean, Mr. Edward? I mean the possibility that the victim has left us a message. For a better or worse, Mr. Marshall did not die instantly. He may have left behind the name of the person who took his life. Somehow, that's impossible. Uh, Mr. Wright, uh, this is the only possibility you have left. A message from the deceased? Does such mes message exist? I got the thing back to the court record. The real murderer's name... Uh, the real murderer's name that the victim may have left behind 
is in the evidence. This message from the deceased is already in our possession. Mr. Wright, will you stop at nothing to prove my sister's a murderer? Nope! Ho ho ho! Do not be mistaken, Miss Guy. Our purpose is not to accuse Emma of the crime. There is only one thing we seek. The truth. No matter how painful it may be. Doom. Now then, Mr. Wright, please show us the piece of evidence that conveys a message from the deceased. I'm actually gonna go with this jar. If I remember correctly, it should be this. This is the message left by, behind by the... Oh, this is what, what that uh, blue battery from before, before, right? Oh, is he going to speak the killer's name? If that thing could, I'm sure it would. Ha <laughs> ha. Looks like everyone's forgotten. Uh, this is just a jo jar. Yes, yes. A message was left here on the surface of this jar. What do you mean? If you look closely, you can see a faint trail of blood on this jar. It looks like someone wiped the blood away. Hmm. Yes, but notice. Yes, for some reason the blood the blood on some of the fragments is was not wiped away. Yes. There is a line here drawn in blood. So what you're saying is is these dots is these dots were once lines, yes. Prosecutor Marshall did not die instantly. He used a few precious moments of his life to leave behind a message. Yes. One that someone apparently wiped away. Yes, someone yes, yeah, someone wiped wiped it away. Hmm. Indeed. Doom. Precisely so. All we need to do is connect these points. And the victim's message will become apparent. No! Mr. Wright, what kind of message did the victim leave for us? Your Honor, I believe these blood stains will reveal uh, to us the answer. I got to connect these uh, dots to make letters. There's only one thing the victim could have written given the circumstances. The murderer's name. I guess we have a clue right here. How does this go? If we connect this, this already looks like an M, like you can see. And uh, Emma just fainted and it was apparently so that she, you know, died. She, she died. She killed Neil Marshall who died. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. There's A and um, I guess we're gonna make E out of this. Emma. Yeah. Looks pretty solid to me. Hmm. Wouldn't you think? I have no idea how I figured this out in the first place. To you know, first of all, present the jar, but you know. <laughs> Whatever, I digress. It's a good thing that I remember something that I won't be thinking for this for like a half an hour. That episode wouldn't really be entertaining. Like that. It's a defense attorney's duty to prove his client's innocence. That's why all I've been thinking about is saving Lana. And scoring off the... The trial. I mean... After all my efforts, I thought it would turn... I never thought it would turn like this. Emma. 
So this is the final message Prosecutor Marshall left behind. <gasps> She's gonna crash. Of all people, she may not have meant it, but in the end, the one who took the victim's life was Emma Sky. Accidental murder. Apparently what people call manslaughter, but, uh, you know. That sounds so terrible. This is not, not such a horrible, horrible term in Finnish language. Manslaughter. That, that sounds much mur worse than murder. But... Whatever, I digress. Uh, and apparently, judging by Worthy here, we have a uh, Damon Gant who's up to shenanigans. See, Worthy, can't say I didn't warn you. Ho ho ho! Chief Gant, do you understand the implications of what you've done? What? What are you talking about? Two years ago, Joe Dark was sentenced to death. He was uh, convicted because of his final murder. I believe you were the prosecutor in, ca in the case, were you not? <gasps> yes, Worthy. Because of you, an innocent man was sentenced to death. Not only that, but you used forged, forced evidence to ensure his conviction. Forged. Oi! Grrrr! Objection. But Joe Dark really was a serial murderer. That's undeniable. Hmm. I'm afraid it's... That's not important. Didn't you know we aren't the uh, defenders of justice? What? We merely... Uh, we're merely keepers of the law. Sentencing a man to death is no light matter. Even if there wasn't uh, any cover-up or evidence forgery, ultimately the responsibility falls on the prosecutor in charge. <gasps> Despite what anyone may say, this fact cannot be denied. What's going on in the prosecutor's office? They might have sent the innocent man to his death. How can he just stand there? Like it was wasn't his fault. Order! Uh. Uh. The gavel's pounding fell on deaf ears. And I, unable to settle the court crowd, uh, the judge declared a recess. Where this trial, where this trial is headed, no one knows. To be continued. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I guess I could save here, but you know we still have a bit of time, so um, let's see. Let's at least go through this talkity talk here in the defendant's lobby, and then possibly call it for the day. Sorry, Edward. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Hmm. Don't worry about that. This isn't my problem. It's my problem, not yours. This is my problem, not yours. Oh, gumshoe. Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. <gasps> Top. Oh, I guess I am. I'll come back later. Wait! Oh, gumshoe, what is it? You got a nerve, pal, making a detective run all around while on duty, yes. You already did it earlier too, so whatever. Whatevs. And to top it off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. Huh, yeah, you said it earlier. Same thing. I take it Lana's having uh, you run errands again. Let me tell you this. This is the last time, pal. Here, she asked me to give you this. Give this to you if there was a break in today's trial. Evidence law? Edward was talking about this just the other day. I'm sure you all know the two rules of uh, evidence law, don't you, Mr. Wright? 
Rule number one, no evidence uh, shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Yes. Yeah, I probably should. But I'm lazy. The chief uh, prosecutor also wanted me to give you a message. A message? She said if you're planning to take him on, him, that Finnish band that I don't really like. Him. I don't like really, yeah, I digress. You're going to need this book. Him. I guess I'll need to give uh, this book a true a true read. Security slipped evidence law into pocket. Man, I have a bunch of stuff in my pocket now. Anyways, uh, don't look like the that book uh, that book will, will do you any good now, though. All that's left uh, now is chief prosecutor's sentence. That's where you're wrong, detective. Ho? Huh? Haven't you figured it out yet? Why I'm still sitting in the prosecutor's seat? Despite all these allegations being thrown at me? Mr. Edgewood. The real trial today hasn't begun yet. <gasps> what else is there left to do? Your credibility has been a... Uh, all but ruined with this forged evidence you were unaware of. Emma Sky found out uh, she unwittingly caused a man's death. And now you're telling me you want to do more? You gotta be kidding me, Poe! You're missing the point, Detective. Lana didn't murder Detective Goodman. <gasps> she merely stuck a knife into his dead body. That means the real killer is still out there. What? And we're going to expose him. Him! No matter what it takes. This case has hurt too many people. It's time to bring it to an end. Ooh yeah. And we are going to bring an end to it the next time. Or at least we are going to, you know, Start bringing an end, because I think we still have a lot of stuff to do. Stuff to do, a lot of evidence to present, a lot of shenanigans, and we have him to face, so it will definitely not be too easy. So next time, we're gonna go back to the court, and that'll be a good time. So until then, this is the Flaming Speed, signing out. Peace!